Mom, I know how much you love Cardinals, so I made this show just for you. Hope you enjoy it. Hello, welcome to my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do a bird that everyone is familiar with. I want to do a cardinal. It's a very beautiful bird and a lot of times when the spring hits like it's arriving now, you see them in your backyard flying around. I'll show you the types of clay that we can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this which never hardens and you know I used to use this all the time as a kid. You use it, you get bored with something, then you remake something with it. There's an air hardening clay, such as this, which hardens like in a couple hours or overnight, and then you can usually paint it. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which, you know, you can make a lot of detail. You can drill it, sand it. it uh, what's great about it is you can bake it in the oven at 275 for about 15, 20 minutes. It becomes hard, then you can paint it. But tonight, I want to use another version of Sculpey, which is called Sculpey 3. It is colored. Uh, it, there's different colors. There's red. We're going to be using red because it's uh, the cardinal. Orange for the beak. We're going to be using a blue color for the base. We're going to be using yellow for the eyes. And we're going to be using black for the face and the eyes. I'll show you the size balls that we'll be using. They're right here. And you can see them. We're going to be using the big one is going to be for the body. The two small ones here are the wings. You have two smaller balls of clay here that are red, which will be used for the cheeks. The orange will be for the beak, and then this blue piece I'll be used for the base, and then this, these two yellow uh, balls of clay will be used for the eyes. I'll show you, we're first going to make the body of the bird. So the bird's going to be include the tail, and it's going to go all the way up to the head. So I'll show you the shape that we want for that. So now, I'm going to take this ball of clay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to work it. And we're going to take, I'm going to try to work this part so I can make the head. You kind of work around like that, go round around. See that? And then I'm going to flip it to the other side and I'm going to start to work on the tail. So we take and you kind of pull it out. You want to lengthen that body. And we're going to just keep doing that and just lengthening the body like that. And then just keep, keep working it like that. And then, see, I'm, I'm making the tail now. See, I'm flattening this out on the end. And then I'll show you the shape that we're going to be making. It's just like, see that flatten that out? See that shape that we're just making? That's the shape that we want. And now what I want to do is work on making the rest of the body. And I'll show you, see how we're, we're stretching that out? This here is going to be the head. So we're working that. just like that, and we want to now this is the shape that we have so far. See how things are starting to take shape, the tail there, the main part of the body and the head. We also want to create on the head, it's almost like a little a crown of sorts. I want to take, and almost make, it's almost going to look like a, maybe like a horn on the top of his head. See how I'm making that? I'm going to take and just work that like that. At least get that started. So that. See, 
See how we did that? So that's the basic shape that we want. The next thing that we want to do is I want to make the wings. And we're going to use these two balls of clay right here. And I'll show you the shape that we want. We're going to take these and I'm going to flat, try to flatten this out a little bit. See, I'm trying to flatten that with my fingers and my thumb. We're going to work it like that. Just like that. And now we're going to start to almost like a make a, like a point for the tip of the wing. See how I'm doing that? So we're going to just keep working it like that. Just like that. See the shape that I'm making? And then you can see I'm squeezing it like that because we want to flatten it out. And then I'm just going to kind of use my thumb. I'm smoothing out some of these areas because the clay is, you know, cracking a little bit here and there. But if you smooth it over with your fingers, see how you can just go over it like that? Just like that. And now what I'm going to proceed to do is check it against my other cardinal and see if they're about, the wings are about the same size. They appear to be. See that? I'm trying to make it that shape there. So it's about right. So I'm just going to do that. And now I'll proceed to make the other one. So we're going to take this ball of clay here, flatten this out like that, and then proceed to make that, that point in the wing tip like that. See how we're doing that? And just keep flattening it out like that, just like that. It gives, you, it gives your fingers a good workout, your fingers and your thumb. And just keep working it like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to my other wing in a minute, but see how we did that. And I'll see that they're the same size. So I'll put these two together. You know, and it looks like they're approximately the same size, which is good. The next thing that we want to do is we want to attach the wings to the cardinal. So I'm going to take the cardinal now. I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to put one of the wings right here. See, I attach it to the side like that. Push down to make sure it's attached. Just like that. I'll smooth it over a little bit. See how we did that? And then we're going to proceed to do the same thing to the other side. So what I'm going to do, see how I'm going underneath like that? Just to make sure that they're roughly in the same spot. So now I'm going to flip it over. See, I'm kind of pressing. I'm going to press down on that. Just like that. See how we're doing that? Just like that. Now, the next thing that we want to do is now that we've made the wings and most of the body, and we got the head started, I want to do the beak. And I'll show you that. We want to do, see this orange beak right here? We want to make that. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take this orange piece of clay right here. And I'm going to take, but before I do that, my hands are all red. So I like, I like to keep a, an extra paper towel here. Because if I don't wipe my hands, it'll get on the orange clay and you'll be able to see the red. So I'll just try to wipe my hands off to get some of that clay off. And, uh, you know, don't worry if it mixes a little bit. That's bound to happen. 
but uh, I like to get the majority of it off. So now what I want to do is make the beak. So I'm going to take this and make the shape of the beak. See, I, I'm going to make it into a point. See, I'm starting to make a point there? Just like that. So when you look at it, that's the top of it. See the side, how it's kind of curving down a little bit? That's the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to place this on the bird right now, or the cardinal. I'm going to take and place it on the front like this. See that? And then I'm going to take and push it in. Like that. See how we're doing that? So that, that part is done. The next thing that we want to do is make the eyes. So I do have a sculpting tool right here. I'll show you. See, it's triangular in shape. See that? We're going to take and we're going to make the eyes. So what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop out like this. See that? And then I'm going to go from the other side. See how we just did that? And then I'm going to proceed to do the other side. So I'm going to do it in approximately the same spot. I want to make sure I can see where. So you take and scoop that like that. You go in that way, and then you go there. And I hope you can see that. The we'll just add, take a little bit more out. Now, the thing that we want to do now is we want to make. I'm going to make. I just see if we can make that a little bit bigger. I'll check the other side. We're going to take these yellow balls of clay right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split this in half right now. Because what I want to do is, is put it into the, the eye socket that we just made. And see how that we're putting that in? Just like that. I might add a little more clay. See that? We're going to fill it in with the yellow. And we'll proceed to do the other side. So I'm going to take this yellow piece of clay, push it in there, and then I try to spread it out with my, my fingers so it goes in the, the eye socket like that. See how we did that? The next thing that I want to do is I want to take, get some black clay, and we're going to make the eyes. So I'm going to take a little piece of this, take a very small piece of clay, and roll it up into a ball, and put, and make an eye. So I'll show you. It'll be easy once you see the eye put on there, how it looks. See that? And proceed to do the other side in the same manner. So we'll proceed to take the little black piece of clay and place it right on the eye like that. See how nice that looks? The next thing that we want to do is we're going to make there's almost like a black mask on the cardinal's face. So we're going to put, take some clay, put it around the eyes, and then take and put it around the, the mouth area or the beak. And see how I, that, that's done? I just want to show you. The first thing that we should do is we want to put something around the eyes. So what I'm going to do is take a little piece of black clay here. And what we can do 
is I'm going to show you, I'm going to put it down here on the table, and we're going to roll it like this. Very simple. Just roll it. I'm going to roll it. Because this is what we're going to put around the eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, start to place it. See how I'm going to put it on the other side of the eye. We're going to work our way around. See how I'm doing that? And then, see, so as, as we work, go around, you push it into the clay. And there's a little excess there, but I'm just going to leave that there because we're going to end up using that anyway. See how I did that? Don't worry about the proportions. I'm just trying to get, the, get it so you can understand the technique. And uh, we'll do it. take another little piece of black clay and we'll do the same thing. The more you use the clay, the better you get at it. In... Uh, you know, it just takes practice. I'm going to take and roll this. Sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate, but it'll be fine. Just like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take and put that right there. And, I, and I'll push it in. So I'm pushing it in with my fingers. And we're going to go up and around the eye. I'm gonna see that how we wrapped it around? Just like that. I'm gonna push that in a little bit. See that? And then what we're gonna proceed to do is we're gonna take more clay now, more black clay. And I'm going to take and do the same thing. Take this clay. I'm going to take and roll it on the table. And we're going to, and we're going to put it around the beak. So I'm going to take this. Roll this. Like that. This makes it so much easier if you're doing it this way. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take and we're going to wrap it around the beak right here. See this? See I'm putting that? Then we're going to go underneath. And we're going to go up and around. There's a little little bit of excess clay here, so I'll pinch it off. And see how we did that? Pretty cool, huh? It's really starting to take shape. The next thing that we want to do is I do want to add, we're going to make a teardrop shape, which is right here. You can see that I don't know if I lift it to the side. See how that's kind of standing up a little bit on the side? There's like a little pouch there. So what I'm going to do is take, and we're going to make the, a teardrop shape like this. So I'm going to flatten this out, and then we're going to make like a, a teardrop shape. See that? In that, we're going to make two of those. I'm going to take and proceed to make another one. And I'll show you. We'll flatten it out like this. See, I'm flattening that out. 
just like that. And then you get that teardrop shape. So what I want to do now is I want to place that right under the eye, right about here. See that? How I did that? See how it's up above? We'll put that right there. Now we'll proceed to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to place that right here. Just like that. I'm going to try to show you from the side to see I'm doing that. And push that up against like that. Just like that. And then what I want to proceed to do is I want to get a little more clay, red clay, and I'm going to add a little more clay to, it almost looks like a horn on top of this head. I want to add just a little bit more clay there, right there. So I'm just adding that there, just like that. And then I'll proceed to add it to the other side. See this how I'm adding it? I just want to make this a little bit bigger. And then what we want to do, once we've added that, see that? See how I've added that? We want to take and I want to take and use this tool and we're going to split this a little bit. Like that. See I'm doing that? So what I'm going to do is take and just pinch it a little bit. I'm going to try to make it a little more pointed. See how I see how we've done that? I want to kind of split that up a little bit. And then what I want to do too is I also want to kind of squeeze this clay together a little bit. On the back of the neck. And we can take this thing here and we can make some like little indentations. See that? And what I'm going to do is squeeze a little bit more. Try to make the indentations a little better. See that? Now that we've done that, one of the things that I want to do is I want to work on doing the base now, which is this blue piece right under here. We're going to be making that. It'll be very simple. So I'm going to take this over here and then push down like that to make that nice base just like that see how I'm doing that don't worry I, I'm getting a little red clay on here but that's to be expected I mean it, a lot of times what I do sometimes I try to wash my hands but I'll try to use my paper towel again to get some of the red off but it, it does transfer to the the blue clay. So I'm going to take a piece of crinkled up tin foil. You can buy this in, you know, like uh, Stop and Shop or someplace like that or a drugstore. And you crinkle up the tin foil and then you take and you just go like this. I like this blue color because it's a good contrast to the red. And that's why I wanted to use the blue tonight. See how I'm doing that? 
want to give it some kind of texture. And now what I want to do is I want to attach the cardinal to the base. So we're going to take this, and I'm going to take this. And see how I'm pushing those two together, working them together? Just like that. So now they're pretty much together. The next thing that I want to do is I have a, my trusty little toothpick here. And I want to start making some lines. So what I want to do is we want to make tail feathers. So what I want to do is take this here and make a line like this. See this? Then take this like that and like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and do the same thing. So I'm going to take, make a, we'll probably make about four lines. See that, how I take that with the toothpick? See how I'm making those lines? Just like that. And then another place we, are, we want to make some lines is I'm going to take and make a line like this on the wing, like that. See how we're doing that? And then I'm going to take and make some lines like this. Just like that. See how I'm doing that? And then I'm going to take and make some lines like this. See? See how I'm making those lines? Just like that. Now, we'll proceed to do the same thing to the other side. So I'll make, I'll show you how we, see how I'm doing that? So now, we can take, I'll do it the opposite way, you can do it like that. Just like that. And then on this, this one here, we'll do some smaller lines on the one that's inside. So now we got that. And then I also want to show you, we want to add some feathers. So on the tail, what I'm going to do is take this right here and just kind of dab it like that. As well as having those lines I want to have. You just take the, uh, on the tail, we're going to do that. Flip it over and do the same thing on the underside. See how I'm doing that? It has a really nice effect when you do that. And then the other area that will make the feathers like that is on the wings. So what I'm going to do is take this and see, just press the tool like that. See I'm doing that? I'm going to make some nice feathers this way. Just like that. See how see I'm doing that with the tool? Now you're going to do the other wing in the same manner. But now the fur on the the cardinal or, not the, or the feathers, I'm going to do, make some smaller ones. So like up around the face here, I'm going to take the toothpick. See, I'm doing this. I'm just going to make little, little lines, just tiny, tiny lines. And I'm going to work that. See, I'm doing that? Just like that. 
and then we're going to take around the eyes where the black is. I'm just going to rough that up a little bit like that. And then this area here on underneath around the beak, just rough that up because those, those are like little feathers but they appear to be smaller than the ones like on the wing or the back of the tail. So I want you to just do this. See I'm doing that? And then on the top of the head, I want you to take and, and do the same thing up here. See how this? Rough it up a little bit. Just like that. And we're going to do that. Just like that. You're going to do that. And then on the, the other cheek, you want to also do that, rough this up a little bit. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. Then I'll show you on the back, you're going to do the same thing. Just take and go like that. Make short little strokes. Just like that. It's an awesome effect once you complete it. But just go there. You're going to do that all the way down the back here. Like that. You're going to make all those little small strokes for the, for the, the, the feathers because these are, appear to be smaller. You're also going to do the underside also here. So you do the underside right here, and you're going to make those small strokes, and you're going to do the underside right here by the tail. So when you get to where we actually use the, the sculpting tool, you don't have to, um, you just go right up to that area and take and make these short little strokes, and that will make some really nice feathers. I'll show you with the final, well, there's a couple of things i got to remember to do. The, we want to make the mouth of the bird or the cardinal. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. We're going to take the toothpick and go like that. See that? And then I'll proceed to do the same thing on the other side. See that? Make the line like that. And then what we also want to do is we want to put some nostrils up there. We're going to put a hole here. See how I did that? And then we're going to go the other side and put another one. Like that. And that was the final thing we have to do. I'll show you what the finished version of the cardinal will look like. See this how you look at the back, all the little strokes that I made. You make the little uh, with a toothpick. You go to about here and then you do the, the complete underside and you see how we did the wings. I sure had shown you how we do those. And this is what the final version of the cardinal looks like. It's a beautiful bird. And I'll just kind of rotate it around so you can see everything and see all the different angles. There's the top and the bottom. And uh, I do want to thank you for coming to Creations of Clay tonight. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now. Thank you.